How's it going YouTube? It's Reed Junkie here and you may or may not know this but you can now get exposed framework on your Lollipop device. This is my Nexus and you can see right here I've got exposed framework installed. So I'm really really pumped about this. I'm going to show you guys how to do this. One pre-warning, this is an alpha build and because it's an alpha build there are certain devices it may not work on. Um, specifically I know Samsung devices on stock ROMs for some reason are not functioning correctly. But other than that, there are some other prerequisites. I'll follow them all in the video. You get links to everything you're gonna need and it should be a fun thing. Let's go do this. All right, so let's show you how to install this exposed framework here on this Lollipop to device. This is my Nexus 6 and just so I can show you this really quickly, a little hard to see, but go into about phone and you can see we're on Android 5.0.1, which is Lollipop. Here, we'll show you the, the lolly. The lollipop, lollipop. There we go. All right, so you can see we're on Lollipop. We want to install Exposed Framework. So the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure you're on an ARM 7 device. So to do that, you're going to open up Terminal Emulator. So you can download Terminal Emulator from the Play Store right here and download it to your device. And the reason we're going to do this is because we're going to paste in a slight little code right here if I can get it there we go paste which is get prop space row product CPU ABI and hit enter and it's gonna return right here with our information on this device let's see if I can show you this guys there it goes which is version arm version 7a so we have to be at version 7 and above which we are that's all we gotta do that proves we can install Exposed on our Lollipop device because it only functions right now on version 7 and above. All right, so we can close that out. And we're going to download some applications. So I'm actually going to open up Tap -a Talk. This is how I manage all of my forums. And we're going to go to the Exposed Framework form, which I'll show you guys. I'll give you a link to it in the video description. No big deal. And you're going to download a couple quick files. We'll go back to the beginning of the form. And basically you're going to download a flashable zip and you're going to download another file. So let's go ahead and see. So you want the exposed installer APK and you want the exposed arm zip. Those are the two things you're going to need. And that's going to be it. So I already already downloaded those. I'll show them to you here in uh, EX file browser. There you go right up on top there. There they are. No big deal. No big deal. One and two. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and click on this one. I'm going to install this. Go ahead. It says block settings. So we're going to go in here and we're going to come down here. It says unknown sources. Turn that on. Go back. Click on it again. And it should install this time. There we go. Very simple. I'm not going to open it right now because we need to get back into recovery to go ahead and install this. So to get into recovery, um, obviously you're going to need custom recovery, torque recovery, clockwork mod recovery. Um, I'm going to use this quick boot works really good and reboot to recovery now my device has team win recovery project on it um, just my preferred recovery you could use Phil's touch recovery or clockwork mod recovery it really doesn't matter um, and we're gonna go ahead and flash that exposed zip which is in my downloads folder you shouldn't need to wipe anything to do this it should be very simple so we're gonna go to install I'm gonna go up a level and there it is exposed arm the date B dot zip. Make sure it's listed. It is. Wipe across to flash it. Should flash very, very quickly. There we go. Reboot system. And that should be it. We should be good to go. We should be able to have exposed functioning. Let's go ahead and make sure that it is once this boots up. Android. It's a beautiful thing. Now, it does look like it's going to go through the Android is updating process. And I think this is because it probably wiped cache by using that uh, install script or that install file for exposed. So we'll let this finish. All right, we're finally starting here. The upgrade process has finished. That took ugh, quite a bit here. All right, let's go ahead and open the device up. And so we should have exposed installed. Let's go check this out. Should be officially functioning. Oh, what a lovely site we have right there exposed installer so let's open it up and let's go ahead and go into framework and just a little warning 
Installation is only possible manually via recovery now. All right, so we can see right there that I have it in there and I have apps as active, there's none, but it does say exposed jar or bridge jar is that um, 61. So we don't need to install it here anymore because we did it manually. And then we're gonna go into modules and just see. So it says right now there are currently no modules built into the application, but you can still download them manually. And I'll give you guys links to those in the video description. And we also have a whole, oh, here we go, here's our list. So there you go, there's a bunch in here. Let's see if there's anything that says a lollipop. This is the normal full list, which I'm excited for. Um, Kit Kat, a lot of different Kit Kat ones. You can look through here, go ahead and check them out, see if you can get any that work on your device. So very, very cool. Super excited to check out all the modules there. I forgot that this is basically where you activate them but right here is where you download them. So, very sweet, it's very, very sweet. So there you go guys, that's how to get exposed on your device. Go ahead, check out some of the modules. Um, I'm pretty pumped to go through them and install some of these on my device. Well, that's gonna wrap it up here for the Exposed Dream Framework install video here for Lollipop. Um, stay tuned for more coverage on Exposed Framework on Lollipop. Also, make sure you guys follow the XDA thread um, just to keep up to date because it is an alpha build. I'm sure there'll be lots of changes and lots of bug fixes. So you're going to probably want to update binary or not binary, but update the framework along with updating the application as the developer finds time to do it. So stay tuned for that kind of stuff and we'll catch you in the next one. Root Junkie out. <laughs>